In this step, I would like to share with you some Excel techniques to make our job easy with regards to voltage drop. We will be needing the Excel tool called VLOOKUP. If you have lots of load schedule, looking the value of pore resistance and reactance in the table is tedious. Excel will help us to make the calculation easy and faster, and finding a value is a lot easier. The VLOOKUP is an old Excel command to find a value in series of a tabulated data. Example, if you want to find the resistance of 8 mm square wire and every size of wire in your table in your populated load schedule for your voltage drop calculation, you need to use this formula. Let me explain it in the coming slide, and I will make a video in Excel how we can do it. Let us proceed. The VLOOKUP allows you to find a certain data value of a specific data in a given table or range. In this application, the certain value can be a resistance and reactance value. And the specific data can be the size of wire in mm square. Here's the visual table so that you can appreciate what I am talking showing here the value of the size of wire where you want to find the value of resistance and reactance. The specific given data is the size of wire. Since we have the size of wire, you need to find the resistance and reactance in a given table. Showing here is the resistance and the reactance where you want to find the value in every size of wire. This is the table 10.1.1.9 on page 942 of PEC 2017. I manually type it in Excel kasi lagi ko siyang ginagamit. You can see the data range for the size of wire, that is column 1. Column 2 is the reactance. And column 3 is the resistance values. Now, this is the formula of VLOOKUP in Excel. You just type equals VLOOKUP open quantity. Excel will pop up the data that you need to fill up. The lookup value is the size of wire. The table array is the data range of the PEC table 10.1.1.9 you created. The column index number is the value you want. It can be either the resistance or reactance and choose pulse in the range lookup to find the exact match. Let us watch a short video I created to see this tool in action so that we can use it to find R and X for a given size of wire. Okay, are you ready? This is a reminder that you need to watch closely because this will help you a lot in the calculation. If you have Excel file with you, please practice. This simple tool will save you lots of time. Okay, this is the sample of the use of VLOOKUP in Excel file. So let's say we have a 3-phase load for voltage drop calculation and we are to find the resistance and the reactance of the wire. Here is our table 10.1.1.9. Uh, this is the alternating current resistance and reactance. I retype it for you. It came from... Philippine Electrical Code and I have here the first column which is the size of wire and the second column which is the reactance of the wire and the third column which is the resistance for uncoated copper wires for it still can do it. So you can type other columns from the table 10.1.1.9 that depends on your needs. So the application of the formula is you are to look for the resistance of the different size of wire in this table. Okay, so our formula is equal to B lookup, close quantity, and the lookup value is the size of wire, which at this row is 2. So we click that column, the size of wire, which is F11, then comma, then the table array, which is 
the table 10.1.1.9 starting from the size of wire number 2 and then going to 500 and then the total value or the total column for that table. Then comma as is the column index is the value of the resistance where the formula will get the value of the resistance and that is column number 3. Let's type column 3 comma then let's find the exact match or false then close quantity enter so i have now the value for the resistance for the 2 mm square wire but i want to edit this formula to make sure that the table array is fixed by putting a dollar sign on the table array range that is dollar b dollar seven dollar d and dollar 27 enter sir what if i didn't put the dollar sign so when you didn't put the dollar sign on the table array range when you drag it down the table array will move so you you can try it in your excel file so for here i just type the dollar sign on the table array range so that when I drag this formula, the array is fixed. To check, look, the table array is fixed. I am sure that this value came from this table. Okay, now for the reactance, using the same format of the formula equals VLOOKUP close quantity, the size of wire that uh, we are looking for the reactance is 2, comma, the table array is the same, comma, and the column index now for the reactance based from my table is column 2. So I type 2, then comma, then I want the exact match, then close quantity, enter. I will edit again the table RE which I will put dollar sign to make it fix. Enter. So when I drag it down, I have all the value of the reactance and the resistance that is ready for calculation. Let's have some example for single phase so i type already here table 10.1.1.8 conductor properties philippine electrical code 2017 so i have here three columns for the stranding and the dc resistance and the size of wire so for single phase we will be looking only for the resistance so to look for the resistance if you have so many sizes of wire to look for the resistance in this table so you have to use vlookup formula and that is equal to equals vlookup close quantity the lookup value which is the size of wire comma the table array comma and the column index number which is the DC resistance which is column 3 type 3 comma and then the exact match or the exact value close quantity enter we'll edit again the array which I will put a dollar sign dollar and another dollar Okay, enter so that when I drag it down, I have all the value of the DC resistance for a single phase calculation. If you have XLPE, I have a data here for XLPE for the resistance and the reactance. For the resistance, it is just one column and for the reactance, it, it varies from different voltage level. So you need to choose column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 if you want to find the resistance and reactance of the XLP cable that you will be using. Okay, so as my advice, 
let's practice from our workshop to the use of the formulas so that you can apply what you have learned in this video. Let's proceed to the next step.